hello everyone welcome to mechanical engineering gear tutorials and in this video lecture i am going to explain about what is thermal stresses what is thermal stress and how to solve the problem a simple problem related to the thermal stress so first i would like to give some important points related to the thermal stresses the first point i would like to give is uh, the stresses induced in a bar due to change in temperature are called thermal stresses so here it is the definition that i have given so what do you mean by thermal stresses means uh, these are the stresses uh, which takes place inside a body when there is a change in temperature when there is a rise or a fall of the temperature for a particular body so the body experiences uh, stresses inside the body so those stresses only are called as their thermal stresses and uh, one more point is the rise in temperature causes dimensions to increase so whenever uh, we increase the temperature of a body uh, that body dimensions are going to be increased so why the dimensions increase means when we heat the body it will gain the, it will gain the energy that is in the form of heat energy so automatically molecules uh, gain the energy so the molecular distance increases so when the molecular distance increases automatically the size of the body increases so that is why when the temperature increases the dimensions of the body also increases and next the lowering of the temperature causes dimensions to decrease so in the same way when we raise the temperature dimensions increases and similarly when we uh, uh, when we decrease the temperature of a body uh, the compacting of the molecules takes place uh, compacting of the molecules take place and based upon that uh, the dimensions of the body decreases and next point uh, thermal stresses are exactly produced when this extension or contraction is prevented so when do we get exactly thermal stresses in, in a particular body means when we uh, try to stop the expansion or contraction of the body due to raising or lowering of the temperature then the body experiences the stress stresses so we try to understand a uh, little bit more uh, <coughs> practically so first i am taking this body a metal a metal body as you and uh, <clears throat> when when this body is heated so that means uh, i'm trying to increase the temperature so automatically the free expansion of the body takes place due to uh, condition that uh, when we raise the temperature the dimensions increases dimensions increase so based upon that the expansion of the body takes place and but if i give some blocks uh, like uh, into these blocks i am fixing the body at a fixed position so what happens uh, when we uh, fix the body inside a two uh, rigid uh, blocks means here uh, when we again uh, try to increase the temperature the body basically tries to expand freely due to raise in temperature but here there is no possibility for the free expansion for this particular body because we have fixed the body in the two fixed blocks so automatically these blocks will try to stop the expansion of the body that means here Uh, with the help of arrow mark uh, i would like to represent what exactly happens inside the body so when we raise the temperature the body will try to expand in opposite direction that means it will try to increase its dimensions due to the molecular uh, uh, instability we can say due to increase in molecular distance also we can say and at the same time these blocks will apply some opposite force so that means here this body is experiencing some external force due to raise in temperature that external force is applied by two fixed blocks so whenever we apply the force the internal resistance offered by the body is only called as a stress so similarly uh, due to the free expansion is stopped for this particular body so this body is experiencing some external force due to the fixed blocks in which this body is uh, is inserted so based upon that this body can experience some internal resistance inside the body so that uh, resistance only causes the stress inside the body so that is only called as here in uh, thermal stresses and which is uh, taking place due to the raising or lowering of the temperature okay i hope you understood what exactly thermal stress and how it takes place in a particular body now let us go for writing a formula for thermal stresses uh, there are there is no mathematical derivation but we have some empirical relations uh, 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 with the help of the coefficient of expansion value for uh, various materials and based upon that uh, by using the standard formulas like stress and strain and young's modulus 
we can find what is the amount of thermal stress that is going to happen for a particular body when that temperature change takes place. So first we go for uh, writing the formula. So before that we need to assume some elements like uh, the length of the bar as L I am assuming and next the initial temperature of the bar that is T1 I am assuming and the final temperature after increasing or decreasing the temperature I am assuming that is as T2 and similarly every material uh, will have every material has a particular coefficient of expansion value so different materials can have different coefficient of expansion value that is the constant value based upon that only free expansion of that metal body metallic body takes place so we need to take one more element that is coefficient of linear expansion that is of alpha and now uh, the Young's modulus of given material as E okay so now we try uh, based upon these elements we can write what is the free expansion that is going to take place for a particular body we can write so free expansion of the bar that is the extension in the bar is equal to can be written in terms of uh, that is uh, uh, alpha coefficient of expansion into temperature change into length of the body that is the length of the bar we are assuming okay this is the relation which gives uh, the free expansion or extension in the bar when there is an increase in temperature similarly it will give you based upon the decrease in temperature uh, the formula t1 minus t2 will be giving the compaction that is the decrease in the dimension of the bar so this is the free expansion and extension in the bar in the same way we can consider it as a change in dimension of the body due to the uh, change in temperature so with the help of this change in dimension <coughs> initially we can find what is the strain okay uh, the thermal strain so strain means here uh, based upon the temperature change we are finding so it can be termed as thermal strain so from the basic formula thermal strain is equal to change in dimension divided by original dimension so the change in dimension is here extension or expansion in the bar that is alpha into t2 minus t1 into l divided by original dimension means the length of the bar we need to consider then we can cancel these two terms that is l and l in the numerator and denominator then we can find what is the thermal strain exactly that is alpha into t2 minus t1 so remember this formula mainly we need to use for finding the thermal strain that is in terms of quotient of expansion into change in temperature that is uh, difference in two temperature values that is initial and final or final and initial okay so with the help of this strain we can find out the stress from the formula of Young's more or less so we can write uh, that thermal stress is equal to strain into Young's more or less why because stress is directly proportional to strain and the constant of proportionality is E so based upon that thermal stress is equal to strain into Young's more or less you can write then in place of strain so this is the reference formula already we know so from this only we can get this formula otherwise uh, we know that uh, stress is directly proportional to strain so based upon that we have written this formula and now in place of strain what we can write alpha into t2 minus t1 into e so in place of strain we can write alpha into t2 minus t1 into the remaining term is the resistance modulus of the material so this formula can give us thermal stress that is uh, taken place inside the body due to change in temperature of the body okay try to remember all these three formulas that is expansion or contraction in the body and the thermal strain and thermal stress and next we try to solve one simple problem so this is the problem i have selected which is the simple uh, basic problem uh, with the knowledge of the thermal stress and strains we can find out what is the stress value and what is the strain value so here uh, uh, try to read the problem a steel rod 15 meter long is at a temperature of 15 degree centigrade that means it here uh, initial temperature is given and then we have to find the free expansion uh, expansion of the length uh, when the temperature is raised to 65 degree centigrade so here the temperature has increased to 65 from 15 then we need to find the free expansion in the length of the steel rod and at the same time we need to find uh, the temperature stress produced when the expansion of the rod is prevented and when the rod is permitted to expand by 6 mm so the first case is when the expansion is completely prevented we need to find the thermal stress and when the expansion is allowed by 6 mm and the remaining uh, whatever the amount it can undergo expansion that is prevented 
so some sort of uh, uh, expansion is prevented then how to find out the temperature stress okay these are the two cases we need to find the thermal stress or temperature stress so for uh, our uh, reference uh, here the alpha for steel rod is given that is the quotient of expansion for the steel is given as 12 into 10 power minus 6 per degree centigrade and the Young's modulus of the steel is 200 giga Newton per meter square okay now we try to write the given data the first thing is length of the rod is given as 15 meters and second thing is T1 is equal to given as 15 degree centigrade that is initial temperature and T2 is 65 degree centigrade that is the final temperature and then we need to find uh, sorry once again I am reading the problem here we are writing the data now so three terms and after that uh, the free expansion okay free expansion we need to find so what what is what was the formula for free expansion we have written as a quotient of expansion into temperature change into length of the bar so try to substitute all the values so phi is given as 12 into 10 power minus 6 so write the value all 12 into 10 power minus 6 into temperature changes t2 is 65 minus t1 is 15 into the length of the rod is 15 meters then uh, try to uh, solve with the help of the calcium then you'll get the value so that is of 0 0.009 meters the value is in meters why because uh, the length value we have substituted in terms of meter so the value also is obtained in meter then we can write it as in terms of mm as 9 mm for converting the meter value into mm we need to multiply with 1000 automatically we will get the value in mm so expansion of the bar is 9 mm so when this expansion is completely prevented so total 9 mm expansion is possible for a given steel rod when the temperature increases to 65 degree centigrade so when this expansion completely prevented we need to find the temperature stress so for that initially uh, okay this is the first case and the temperature stress uh, can be written as already we know the formula that is alpha into t2 minus t1 into e okay that is uh, strain into young's modulus so alpha value already is given as 12 into 10 power minus 6 and t2 minus t1 is 65 into 6 sorry 65 minus 15 into young's modulus is given as 200 giga means 10 power 9 so after substitute substituting then uh, modify this with the help of the calci calculate the value then uh, we'll get the value in terms of newton per meter square that is 120 into 10 power 6 newton per meter square otherwise we can write it as 120 mega pascals or 120 mega newton per meter square okay so this is the first case that temperature that is the temperature stress when the expansion is completely prevented and the second case is the temperature stress when the expansion is perm, uh, permitted by 6 mm so expansion is allowed up to 6 mm and the remaining amount is prevented but here we'll get the temperature stresses when the expansion is prevented so whatever the amount of the expansion is prevented for that only we'll uh, we can experience uh, the thermal stress inside a steel rod so first we need to find what is the amount of the expansion is prevented so we know that the total expansion is 9 mm and the permitted expansion is 6 mm then we can find what is the prevented expansion so try to take the value expansion prevented is equal to total expansion is 9 minus expansion permitted is 6 so automatically this will give you what is the expansion prevented 3 mm so for this 3 mm we need to find again what is the thermal stress the formula is same uh, before that uh, we are finding the temperature strain temperature strain is equal to we know that alpha into that is expansion prevented sorry temperature strain is equal to expansion prevented by original length this is the basic formula uh, which is obtained from the alpha into t2 minus t1 into l only that alpha into t2 minus t1 into l is actually ex expansion prevented but here we are considering what is the exact expansion prevented for a particular steel rod so what is the expansion prevented 3 mm okay when it is totally prevented then it will become alpha into t2 minus t1 in place of l we need to consider 15 meters for getting the temperature strain in the bar when the expansion prevented up to 3 mm we need to make use of this formula for temperature strain so expansion prevented is 3 mm 
divided by original length is 15 mm sorry 15 meters then we have to multiply with 1000 then it will be converted into mm then the value is obtained in terms of meters value not in meters we don't have any units for this strain so the strain value is 0 0.002 so with the help of this strain then we have to find the temperature stress for a rod when the expansion is prevented to when the expansion is permitted up to 6 mm so we try to write temperature stress is equal to strain into Young's modulus then the strain is 0 0.002 into Young's modulus value that is 200 into 10 power 9 then we will get the value as 40 into 10 power 6 newton per meter square so this is the value sorry so this is the temperature stress value when the expansion is permitted by 6 mm or uh, expansion prevented up to 3 mm so i hope you understand uh, whenever the expansion is uh, prevented in that condition only uh, the body can experience the stress so based upon that we need to find the strain if the complete uh, expansion is prevented we can make use of uh, the basic formulas or otherwise the strain should be determined in terms of expansion prevented divided by original length okay i hope you understood if you still have any doubts uh, please feel free to give a comment to my video so that i'll try to clarify your doubts and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, once again thanks for watching my video Thank you all.